Shall we drink to the crusade? Despite her nervousness and rather jittery movements, the queen's voice rings with good cheer. I'll be happy to drink to that. I can't remember the last time I simply sat in a tavern. Wait, I do remember. It was in Canal Brace, right after the Grey Garrison lost its roof and you gained your mythic powers. We came here to get to know each other better, didn't we? I propose a game. First, I ask you a personal question. Then you ask me. The rule is we must answer honestly. Agreed? Then I shall start. I remember how we first met. You were a dark horse, the unknown hero who saved the city. I sat at your table incognito so I could take a closer look at you. So tell me, what did you really see in me once I introduced myself? What did you think of me? I'll tell you, but only if you tell me what you thought of me back then. This is not how this game is supposed to be played, but if you insist, you piqued my interest. As a rule, I am good at reading people, but I was stumped when it came to you. And the next day, I suddenly realized that I could not stop thinking about you and the mystery you posed. I liked you from the moment I laid eyes on you. Is that true? Well, I suppose it must be true. We did agree to be honest after all. <laughs> now it's your turn to ask. What do you dream of? I dream of peace for all. I dream of this war ending. I dream of a Galarian where there is less pain and injustice. But I suppose you were asking about something more personal. This may sound foolish, but I should like to stop being queen. Even for just a little while. After all, I've been queen for a hundred years already. But no one can know of this dream. You must keep my secret. Now, it is my turn to ask. Do you remember the day I took my leave of Dresden? Tell me, were you happy to finally become the full-fledged commander of the Crusade without the Queen overseeing your every move? Or perhaps you... Perhaps you didn't want me to leave? I knew that I would miss you. Very well. Now it's your turn to ask. What do you enjoy doing when you're not waging war? To be honest, I can hardly remember a time when I could allow myself to do anything other than wage war. I remember that I used to enjoy practicing with my sword. I also liked going out riding and tending to my horse afterward. I loved meeting with friends in Nerosian's taverns. I used to sneak out in secret so my father wouldn't know. But, of course, he always found out about my secret adventures in the end. He never scolded me. But the look he would give me was enough to make my knees knock together in fear. Is it my turn to ask again? Then tell me, have you ever hated me? I know that you have forgiven me, but I cannot help thinking that I made you hate me by sending you to the Abyss on an impossible mission. When the storyteller told me that he had met you in Aleutian era, I didn't know what to do. I wanted to help you, to speak with you, to find out who you were. But I was afraid you wouldn't listen to me. It was hard for me, and I was really angry with you for a while. But I could never hate you. I am glad to hear that. Thank you for telling me. Your turn now. Have you ever truly loved someone before? We agreed to be honest, didn't we? He was one of my father's knights. A few years older than me. I was a young, innocent girl who had just come of age, and I fell madly in love with him. I was forever trying to contrive chance meetings with him in the palace. I always made sure to know which post he was guarding. I remember waiting for the night he would be stationed in the palace gardens. I remember my cheeks burning as I confessed my love to him. I remember our first kiss. <sighs> and then my father died. I became queen, and my knight chose to abandon his position and leave. He told me that he did not wish to die young in some senseless war. My turn. How are the people in this tavern reacting to seeing us together? From where I am seated, I cannot see the entire room. And those people I can see are studiously avoiding eye contact. 
You're right. Everyone is sneaking glances at you and whispering to each other. Actually, no. Everybody is gawking at us, and I can't blame them. The queen and the commander drinking in a tavern together? That's not something they see every day. They'll be telling this story to their grandkids. Indeed. Why should we feel embarrassed? Now it's your turn. Take Galfrey's hand. Shall we go for a stroll? Perhaps in the direction of my study. You can't ask that. It's highly improper. Blood rushes to Galfrey's cheeks and she chokes on her words. She yanks her hand from yours, drains her tankard, and then stares into your eyes. Let's go. Galfrey's lips brush yours, carefully, as if she is trying not to spook you, gently and a trifle awkwardly, the way a young girl kisses the person she likes. <laughs> 